Well, good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing today? It is Friday, February 3rd, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. This video is the video to show you guys how much snow remains in Big Bear from this last snowstorm. And if you guys like what I do, please hit the like and subscribe button. I love doing this for you guys. It's a lot of fun and who knows where this channel is going to take us. Maybe if we get big enough, we can go to other snowy towns for a season here, like a season in Tahoe, a season in Mammoth, a season in Aspen, just who knows where this channel is going to take us. So that would be awesome, but I need to grow to be able to do that. So please hit the like and subscribe button if you guys enjoy what I do. Anyway, let's get this drive going. So we're on Big Bear Boulevard right now, guys, and we are going to drive around the lake. And then at the very end of this video, we're going to drive by uh, Bear Mountain. Snow Summit's a lot harder because of the, 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 uh, the parking security to get close enough. But I want to get you guys a good view to see how many people are on the slopes of Bear Mountain. And uh, yeah, just get you guys prepared for coming up this weekend on what to expect snow-wise. Let's see here. Let me uh, let me get my map up. Let me get my map up. Okay, so this is where we're at. In accordance to the shark, as you guys know, I've been referring to the lake in the map view as as, as the shark. Because doesn't it look like a shark over here on the Baldwin side? That's the shark tail. I think that's pretty pretty cool. And the shark tail is gone now. <laughs> All right, so it is 12:39 p.m. The temperature is 45 degrees. As I said, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. We're gonna take a little drive through the village on the way out of town to head around the lake. And guys, thank you so much for in, um, in, uh, enjoying that video I did yesterday about walking through the village man the reception i'm getting from you guys just blows me away it makes me so happy so thank you guys so much to be able to have an impact on people's lives like this is just mind-blowing to me and i will never let you guys down i will always work my butt off for you guys um i know this channel is pretty simple um, I'm not spending like hours and hours editing, but I am doing the best I can for you guys. Because I want you guys to have all the information you need before you come up to this town. So you know what to expect. Yeah, there's the village. That's is where we're headed. We're headed to village. But yes, how much snow remained in Big Bear? We're going to see how much snow remained in Big Bear. And for now, we turn off camera so we don't wait at light for too long. Hang on for one minute, please. All right, guys, here we go. Once again, there's the Robin Hood Resort, one of my favorite places to stay in town. Not only does it just, it's a comfortable little place, but it's here in the village. All right, here we go. Deja vu about 1500 times deja vu deja vu 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 a lot of you guys mentioned the social 572 right there a good good place as i said i've been there once i treated my mom there a few years back i enjoyed it but i'm the type of person who like gets a burger like everywhere i freaking go when i go to captain's anchorage though i get what they're known for which is the prime rib the prime ribs. I like it, the prime ribs. It's good. It's very good. All right. Here we go. We are halfway through the village already, folks. And once we exit the village, as I said, we're, we're going to be driving around the lake. So we're going to head to the dam and then go through Fawnskin. It was really cool doing this walking tour yesterday of this whole village because there were so many stores that I never knew existed, guys. And I feel kind of uh, pathetic for not knowing. But I'm really interested in going into the Village Music Shop. It used to be on the other street on Pine Knot. And uh, I enjoyed it, but it was really, really small. 
this village shop looks super, super, super huge. And one of our friends on this channel, Mary Alice, she told me that there's a guitar in there signed by Alice in Chains. So I'm, you know, that's, that's my time period. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. All right, here we go. Let's roll. Yeah, as you guys can see, a lot of the snow has melted. And oh my gosh, look at our temperature now, guys. Not good, if you guys want snow. Not, not good. No es bueno. Okay. Estamos manejando de la Big Bear Boulevard para ver todo la, la nieve pero no hay mucho nieve ahora porque la sol es muy caliente y con un caliente sol no no más no más nueve or, sí, uh, nueve or, oh my gosh I, is that how you say snow I'm sure I didn't even say anything well believe it or not I used to speak really fluently. I can still understand everything in Spanish, but I can't I can't speak it the way that I used to. Ahora la 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 temperatura acá es 53. Muy caliente para aquí. Y yo no sé cuándo vamos a tener más nieve aquí, pero Yo quiero mucho más. Porque es muy, muy bonito aquí cuando tenemos muchísimo nieve aquí. All right, here we go. These little patches of snow are so, so cute, guys. So beautiful. This has been the first season that I've been here where we didn't get, like, at least one storm in my part of town that hit a foot. At least not yet, but we, we have entered the snowiest month of the season, you guys. February is technically the snowiest month up here. But for the eight, this is the 8th February that I have been here. And it has not, we have not hit, um, since I've lived here, February has been very weak. When it comes to snow. Very weak. This used to be where the old drive-in was, but now it's a real estate office. I wish we had that that old drive-in. It it was it was taken out before I even moved here. But I remember as a little kid when my older brother would would bring me here from uh, our our cabin in Lake Arrowhead when we would visit from Newport Beach. I remember seeing the drive-in theater there. And guys, the further we go this direction, the snowier it'll get. We are headed towards the snowiest part of the entire valley. To me, it's incredible how little in terms of distance it actually takes in this town to get into significantly more snow. Boulder Bay Park. I don't know why they have this parking lot closed. It's been closed for a long time now. I just don't get it. But this is Boulder Bay. Just a beautiful part of town. Really a gorgeous part of town. You got some nice thick snow up here on the left hand side. You can see all these cars coming into town right now. This is why we headed this direction to go against the grain and drive around the lake this way. It is truly remarkable. So gorgeous, you guys. But yeah, so back to what I was saying about uh, um, taking this channel elsewhere. It would be great to be able to get out of Big Bear for a season here and a season there to go to other snowy parts of the country just for the winter season. 
and do what I do there. My biggest concern, my biggest concern is that, yeah, even though I've got such an awesome vehicle for what I want to do, is that I don't know any of these other towns and, and I'm worried when I'm, I'm driving the whole towns through like big blizzards and stuff like that, that I'm, I'll, I'll get stuck somewhere. I'll end up like on a really steep slope, just something super dangerous and get stuck and not know what the heck to do. But I guess it's all part of the risk. And because I love this type of weather so much, it would be worth it. But you know, I would like to learn these other towns before I actually do that move but it would it would take me a while to get comfortable in this town man i am so comfortable just love 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 this town so much and as i said i know this town so well all the streets i know what to expect and also importantly what to expect when it is really snowy and really icy certain spots get worse than others all the time I also coined what's what I've uh, coined as the big bear snow rule, which just basically long story short, just tells you that this side of town will always get more snow than the, the other side of the valley from the dam. It's about an eight mile distance as the crow flies to the other side of town or to the other side of, of the valley where you start driving down on highway 18 on the backside. But yeah, I'm very familiar with with this town. And I'll never forget when I first moved up here and then I got a job at Domino's. I had no idea where anything was. Like it was, I it was, oh man, it was so intimidating. But funny enough, I know everything about where to go in this town now and where things are. It feels good. It feels great. Yeah, guys, we're at 50 degrees over here. As I said, we're entering this. Well, we are in the snowiest part of town. We're not going to go all the way to Baldwin right now because not a lot of you spend time out there. But just note that there's going to be so much, so much brown, so many brown spots out there. And I mean big, huge patches because there's, there's not that much snow out there right now. Even after these storms right afterwards, there was hardly anything. to get my Harley back so excited so excited all right we're at the dam the John Claude Van Dam and instead of heading out of town we're gonna turn right here we're gonna cut the cut front of the Penske truck only because we don't want to be stuck in traffic. All right, so here's the lake, folks. You can see big patches of ice on there. That's gonna melt away super rapidly. And funny enough, look at this side. There's a bunch of brown over here. Snowless mountainside. feels so good with the window down but I have the max AC on mainly because my other car when I had it it was it was the most dusty thing you've ever seen on on the inside and it, it just I like it really sucked driving it because it was so horrible like that but um, Look at how little snow there is over here. Usually, guys, this is this is part of the snowiest part of town. But this side of the hill right here gets hit with a lot of direct sunlight. And when it's 50 degrees up here and the sun just blasting down, it's probably going to behave as if it's like 60 degrees on the snow because of the radiational, radiational heating. I'll tell you what, it's so beautiful today. I'm just really surprised that there's very, very, very little snow over here. 
And right now we're gonna look at the forecast for you guys. I'm telling you guys what, it changes so often up here. So often. It's so hard to forecast anything up here, you guys. I do get frustrated with our with all the news media when it comes to our weather forecast. Well, with everything, but when it comes to our weather forecasting, um, I know they're not trying to lie about that intentionally like they lie about everything else. I know they're actually trying to get the weather right. At least I, I would hope so. A lot of people think that the news media is in the pockets of Snow Summit and Bear Mountain and our ski resorts to say there's more snow than there really is to get people up here. And that would be not cool. I don't think that they're that shady, you guys. I, I really, 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 really do not. But you guys know that I'm always going to be honest with you, even if it, you know, if it gets me in a little bit of trouble locally. But it's important. It's important to be honest with you guys because you guys are taking a lot of time off work, spending a lot of money on overpriced hotels many times and really expensive food and really expensive everything to come up here. And so if you're, if you're going to be spending that kind of money, I don't want you guys to be getting jacked like that. I, I want you guys to like, in, you know, be happy and enjoy yourselves. But when the side of font skin, this side of font skin looks like this, just brown everywhere. And so speaking of which guys, it was hilarious. The news had said that we got a foot of snow from that last storm up here. Um, where? really interested to see where I mean was it that we wished for a foot of snow was that did I miss mishear misread it mishear them but misunderstand them misarticulate them okay I can't believe it now it's showing Sunday we have a chance for a little bit of snow guys but hang on let me just capture keep on doing this this lake view we'll get to that weather in just a second i don't want you guys to miss the beautiful little patches of ice on the lake and these cute little tiny houses and some really big houses on the lake oh it's so great you guys it looks like summertime on the left doesn't it look looks like summertime all right once again we're coming up to my favorite favorite house on this part of the drive because of the view this guy right here what a lucky dog what a lucky dog he gets to wake up to this every freaking morning oh my goodness gracious great balls of fire one of you i think it was dan dan pyan said that he had he stayed there before it's an airbnb or, or something like that all right we're coming into the eagle habitat area but real quickly i'm just going to show you guys what it says here so for daily, now it's showing we have a chance for Sunday to have a little bit of snow. I cannot believe it. So let's see what it says. We're going to click on Saturday, tomorrow, see if there's anything at night. Okay, so it's just on and off snow showers early. Not going to get much. And let's see later on in, at the end of the forecast. It did show yesterday we were going to have a couple days of snow around the 13th or the 14th, but now it's not showing anything. So that's quite a bummer. But that could change once again in the next few hours. It's really amazing how these forecasts do change so much. So let me just uh, click on each day here. Now we're in font skin. Okay, so even though it's not showing it on the front of it, you gotta click on the date. It looks like Sunday uh, what's what what date is that? The twelfth, in the evening time, we snow accumulations less than one inch, but that's that's all we got going, guys, so far. I don't see anything else, any potential for anything else. Um, at least not at the moment. And through this town, just like everywhere else, it's, it's really, really important that you do drive the speed limit. Just keep in mind, it is a little tourist town and most of the year, about, well, a little more than half the year, we're not making too, mu too much money up here because uh, half the year there's, there's no snow. And so this town tends to make 
money off of ticketing people and stuff like that, which I don't have a problem with that. Um, it's the, the law is the law. And if we're going to break the law, then we are, we are risking getting a ticket. But, um, yeah, just keep in mind, especially through little towns like Fonskin up here, go the 25, don't go any faster. Cause I'll tell you what, having to pay fines like that really, really will ruin your vacation. At least me, me personally, I let stuff like, like that just destroy my, my, my whole day. But guys, this is, this is so gorgeous today. And as I said, at the very end here, we're going to head over to do a, do a quick drive by of Bear Mountain. So you guys can see how many people are there and, and get a view of the slopes to see how packed it is. And just to get an idea of how much snow there is, but I'm really surprised to see so much empty space here without snow. This is a pretty snowy part of town guys. So this is no bueno, not at all. But the views are spectacular. It's just, and I am gonna go up into the upper parts of Fonskin soon in the next couple videos. One of our friends on the channel, Thelma, really, really wants me to to get some views of Big Bear Lake from Upper Fonskin. So, yeah, I would I would be honored to do that for you. That would be freaking awesome. San Gorgonio, just, just incredible. San Gorgonio is that big mountain on the other side of our ski resorts over there. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. It's so beautiful. And it gets so much snow up there, you guys. They get so much snow. They get almost as much snow as a mammoth does, but it's a few thousand feet higher up in elevation. So then mammoth, I guess the base of mammoth mountain is about 9,000 feet or something. So, um, I, it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Look at that ice though. Look at the ice on the lake right there. Look at that. Just amazing. Just amazing guys. Look at that. I hope you guys can, can see good enough there. Wow. I mean, that is unbelievable. It's so gorgeous. Guys, this is where I get to live. I can't believe it. Like, I really can't believe I live here. A Newport Beach kid moving up to Big Bear. You would think it would be like a, like a culture shock, <laughs> kind of, because it's so different. It's just so different. But I fit right in up here. I am definitely not a fish out of water. Yeah, I enjoyed surfing and uh, stuff like that, but it, it wasn't a big thing for me. I actually had a fear of the water for a long time. Long story, I'll explain it to you guys sometime. But yeah, we're exiting Fonskin now, you guys, and we are on Highway 38 still, heading towards Big Bear Lake. Or actually, I think this would be... Well, I think technically we're still in Fonskin right now. But uh, we are headed towards Big Bear Lake. And then we're going to end up at Stanfield Cutoff to cross from uh, North Shore to South Shore. South Shore, you guys, is where all the resorts are. In Fonskin here on the North Shore, yeah, you have a couple small little miniature resorts. But they're very, very, very peaceful and serene. And I urge all of you, if you ever get a chance, if you don't want to be really like right in the middle of the hustle and bustle of Big Bear when it's packed, try to come stay over here. It's, you, you got to drive a lot further to get anywhere, to go get your food, to, to go do this, to go do that, all your shopping. But um, it's, it's really nice just chilling up here in the Fonskin area, just relaxing. Temperature is still 51 degrees. We have just crossed 1 p.m. 
this is where we're at in accordance to the shark, folks. You guys tell me that looks exactly like a shark, doesn't it? That lake portion. I know I keep on talking about it. I'm not trying to convince you guys that it's a shark. It really does look like a shark though. So they should call it Big Shark Lake or Little Shark Lake. Did you guys know that Lake Arrowhead used to be called Little Bear Lake? Yes, it did. Yes, it sure did. Little Bear Lake. Lake Arrowhead is still by far my, my favorite spot up here in, in this mountain range. The reason why we don't do a season in Lake Arrowhead is because they don't, well, I, I guess we could. We could if I moved there, but it's not nearly as much snow as, as we get here. I know my wife would be really happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, it's just not nearly as much snow. But look at this. Look at how just there's no snow over here. This is this is crazy. Temperature went up to 53 degrees. I'm telling you guys, can't really keep much snow around when it's these temperatures. I'll be home in 10 minutes, my friend. I'll see you then. I mean, look at this, guys. There's just no snow over here. This is unbelievable. To be honest, to be honest, and I know it's sad, sad to say because you guys have known me for eight years doing this and the snow is just everything to me, but I'm really looking forward to summertime. Because it's been truly miserable here um, with all the rain, the cold rain, and then the freezing temperatures. It's, it, it's just creating ponds and puddles all through my driveway and everywhere else, and it's, it's, just, it's just miserable. If we get a lot more snow, I, it, it makes me that much happier. over towards the Baldwin area just nothing out there if we would have gone out there today you guys would have been shocked I bet there's just no snow left over there in some of the shady areas yes but as far as it's concerned where the sun shines yeah there's there's gonna be no more snow over in the Baldwin Lake area Beautiful snow summit. Oh, I love this view right here. As I said, it's it's a little bit harder to get any uh, any access to snow summit during the day while it's still open because the security, the parking security. So what we are going to do is just run by Bear Mountain real quickly. I'm hoping it doesn't look that packed. I mean, town does look a little bit packed right now. It is Friday. But I'm hoping that there's not really that many people there, just so you guys will we'll probably get a similar experience when you come up tomorrow or Sunday. But I always suggest to you guys, if you guys really want to enjoy yourselves up here when we have snow, come up during the week. Come and stay Sunday night all the way through Thursday night. That would be the best possible time for you guys to be here. Significantly less people and more fun for you. You get more runs in for sure. It's, it's just overall a, a lot better for you guys. And your money will go a lot further if you come up during the week like that.
I do care about that. I don't want you guys to to be paying an arm and a leg for this or for that. No matter what, in Big Bear, you're always gonna pay. You're always gonna pay. But um, during the week, significantly better, I promise you. So let's head to Bear Mountain now. We're on Big Bear Boulevard. Let's see here. This is where we're at in accordance to the shark. We're right in the middle on the south side there, you can see. And we're gonna turn on this, this little side street called Moon Ridge Way. It's uh, It just leads you to, um, to Moon Ridge Road and then turns into, uh, what's, whatchamacallit, Brownie Lane. If you cross Moon Ridge Road right here, this turns into Brownie Lane. And I've showed you guys numerous shortcuts up here to get where you need to go. And I'm gonna continue showing you guys. All I ask is that everyone please, please respect the speed limits and the neighborhoods as much as you can, please. Because I get a lot of hell from a lot of locals about showing you guys how to get from place to pay, place to place, taking the back roads. Um, but I know that you guys are super respectful. That's why I'm happy to help you guys like that. I want you guys to make the best of your time here. I don't want you to spend time in traffic the whole time. And trust me, there are ways around it. So I am here to make your stay that much better. That's so much better. This is what we do. This is what we do. It. This is how we do it. This is how we do it, baby. Okay, so we're on Moon Ridge Road. Guys, I'm, this is also the way to, the, to, to one of the best areas to take your kids and family sledding without having to pay. So just follow this route, and then when you get here to a street called Club View, you wanna go to the right where the zoo is, right in front of the zoo. The second roundabout, just stay to the right, and guys, go all the way up to the top. Do not divert from this road at all. Go all the way to the top. When you get to Bear Mountain or just past Bear Mountain, which will be on the left-hand side, there's usually signs in the middle of the road that say residential neighborhood, no through access, stuff like that. But because there is an off-roading area called the 2N10 up there, um, everyone has has access. That's a public access road. It's a road for all you guys to go enjoy some off-roading. Just as I said, once again, just be super respectful. That's all. I mean, I don't, I don't have to tell you guys that because I already know that you guys are very respectful. Here's the golf course. But yeah, you just stay on this road we're on right now to the very top until it dead ends. You, you cannot mess this up. You can't mess it up. And if you do, show me your tricks. <laughs> teach me, teach me how. All these houses over here are right on the golf course. I love to golf, so this would be a prime place for me to live. But obviously, as you can imagine, it's a lot more expensive to live on the golf course than it is other places. Real estate is not cheap, especially for prime real estate. And it really is always about location, location, location. That's what I did most of my earlier life because my my, 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 my mom owned um, a really big real estate office in Newport Beach and she did very, very well for herself and the 2008 housing crisis, just like many other people, completely killed her, completely killed her and um, I love my mom so much and so any extra penny that I have each month, I, I've been paying for my mom's cars for the past four and a half years almost five years and it's just been an absolute blessing to be able to do that of course it sucks to not have any money left over each month but you know what it's all part of life I was a really pain in the butt kid who put her through a lot and she deserves a lot more than I'm even able to do for her right now
Okay, here's Bear. And as I said, for the free sledding area, guys, stay on this road and just keep going up here to the right. So here's Bear. I don't, it doesn't look like it's that packed on the slopes, you guys. So I think you guys will have a fantastic time up there. Looks just awesome. That was my my boy Sean right there. You guys met Sean a, a couple times ago. He, he he spotted me driving and recording, and he came out to say hello. Look at that beautiful Bear Mountain. Parking lot doesn't look extraordinarily packed. I mean, it is full, but all the other parking lots are still wide open, which is great. Not wide open, but not how they usually are. Make this guy just a abracadabra. You guys see that? That was incredible. Gone. <laughs> I really have been practicing my magic tricks lately, guys. So I really hope you guys really enjoyed that. I just say abracadabra and the car disappears. So we are on Moon Ridge Road, guys. This is a way up into Upper Moon Ridge on Sheep Horn right there. Oh yeah. And look guys, there's a lot of this snow is melting over here. This doesn't make me too happy. As I said, I'm looking forward to the summertime weather here and all the fishing stuff. By the way, for the fishing guys, I am in talks with another dude up here who does YouTube videos, but for like just fishing and stuff like that. And I've never been into fishing, even though I grew up right on the water in Newport Beach, never been into it, never thought it was fun. It just felt like torture, just boring as all hell. And I'm a coward when it comes to like hurting animals. Of course I'll eat fish. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a carnivore for sure when it comes to all other food out there. But, um, I just, I always felt bad. I fished twice in my life. Um, and, uh, I know a lot of you ask me a ton of questions about fishing and I know most of you fish. So I wanted to give you guys as much information and tips as possible of this place. And, uh, so I have someone I'm going to collaborate with and do a couple videos with him to have him talk about what he does and the, the best fishing spots and what type of fish we have up here to catch and when's the best time to come and go fishing. He's really, really, really good. I've checked out his channel quite a bit. So I'll let you guys know when that happens. And I'm really excited to do that for you guys. Because once again, that's, that's another way that this town makes money and keeps it thriving in the summertime is through all the fishing and my goal is to continue to help the business owners up here as much as possible and if I'm going through the summertime only recording the monsoon stuff I'm not getting out to as many people as I possibly could and bringing as many people up here as I possibly could um, as I said I really want to help these these local business owners out to do the best they can and just have a, the best life they can have up here and giving you guys as much info as possible so but anyway that's going to be the drive for today this is just to show you guys how much snow is left on in the main part of town where most of you literally majority of you come and spend time um i love you guys a lot thank you guys for everything thank you for supporting me always i appreciate it so much you guys so let's see here uh yeah here we go we are we are we are done with this drive the temperature is 51 degrees 118 p.m we are done if you guys enjoy what i do and uh think what i do is valuable and worth it for you guys please hit the like button please subscribe and hit the notification bell <laughs> please that would, that would make me really happy i'd appreciate it thank you guys love you guys with all my heart and i will chat with you all later peace out